what is a subculture? While small societies tend to be culturally uniform, large modern societies are culturally diverse and involve numerous subcultures. Subcultures are values and norms distinct from those of the majority and are held by a group within a wider society. In Malaysia, subcultures might include Marumpet, Ravens, fan of hip hop, or Harry Potter, and even bikers. The examples are endless. Richard Clover and Leo Orlin, 1966, proposed that divides result from the various opportunity structures that frame a person's life. A divided subculture is a subculture which has values and norms that differ substantially from the majority of people in the society. In short, a subculture is a group detaching itself from mainstream society, catering to certain people's ideologies and preferences. Characteristic of subcultures. So let's move on with in group and out group. What is in group and out group? An in group is a social category or group with which you identify strongly. An out group, conversely, is a social category or group with which you do not identify. An important characteristic of the in out group dichotomy is that groups mark their identities communicatively by the distinctive language and speech styles they create and use, the dress codes they adopt, and the festivals and pageants that highlight their unique traditions and rituals, and so forth. In this way, language and communicative features are important devices for creating an us and them. Everyone belongs to some groups, your race, gender, favorite sports team, your college, even the place you were born are all examples of groups. People like in-group members because they know at least partially what to expect from them. For example, Malaysian versus non-Malaysian, Muslims versus non-Muslims. Social identity theory proposed that when an in-group identity is made or becomes salient, people often wish to emphasize characteristics of the group that they hold dear. Communicative symbols are often evoked in this regard and, depending on the intercultural setting involved, can include emphasizing organizational jargon, feminist sentiments, adolescent political phrases, or ethnic accent. The theory suggests that by expressing its distinctive characteristics, people can thereby assume unqualified pride in their membership in this group. So what is the relationship between subcultures and in-groups or out-groups? Let's check it out. As Howard Becker in 1963 noted in his labeling theory, dominant social groups determine who the out-group is based on shared values and norms of the in-group. The in-group social groups are oftentimes the dominant culture that decide which values and norms the out-group cannot perform. In contrast, the outgroup or the subcultures in this context might not have the same resources or practices in the in-group and in turn might fail to meet the norms and expectations of the in-group, thus making them even from the dominant culture. Since these subcultures cannot meet the norms of the dominant culture and are labeled as deviant, they are marginalized from fully participating in the dominant culture. Lastly, shared marginalization is the idea that many subcultures can share the same outsider status despite having different backgrounds in mainstream society. For example, both the Ravers and the Rumpet culture are looked down upon by the dominant cultures in Malaysia. Well, that sums up our short video on subcultures and in-groups or out-groups. Thanks for watching!